Jana in action. TRBD. Kazi kwa nguvu. TRBD. Hustle every day. Hustle every day. Hustle every day. Hi Vijana, my name is Christine Gitao. I'm a youth and I'm in the business of value addition to pottery. Basically, this is my work. We add uh, color magic to pottery and it's fun and I love it and we all love it. So welcome to today's show. The name of the company is Beauty for Ashes Pottery. Uh, we set it up uh, almost three years ago. Uh, actually, we are going to do three years in November of this year, and it's been a fun ride. We are located in the Eastland part of Nairobi. Uh, this is where most of the work is done. Beauty for Ashes is actually a verse from the Bible. It comes from Isaiah chapter 61, verse 3. And it actually, it's, it's a very long um, verse, but it basically the whole of that chapter talks about how God will give us back beauty for our ashes. If we give him our ashes, he'll give us uh, back beauty. So that is how they came, the, the name came about. When I started the company, I hardly had any money. We had uh, basically about 2,000 shillings, and that for me was a very big lesson. Basically, it's just start where you are with what you have, and that's exactly what we did. I didn't train for this. This is not actually my background. I'm trained in English and literature. I have a Bachelor of Education degree in English and literature. And uh, this is just a passion. It's just something that I had in me. I, I always knew as a creative person, but I, I was wondering how to put that into practice. And that is how the idea came about. Follow your heart. Because I'm just one of the people who um, went I did a course because my mom wanted me to do that course and it wasn't a bad course because when you go for a degree program they just don't teach you how to teach you know they teach you how to deal with life how to talk to people how to survive out in the world so it wasn't such a bad thing but I'm just one of those people who you know um, I found myself in a place where I was very uncomfortable I wasn't happy with what I was doing and then it came to a point where I thought this has got to stop I have to live my life not just survive, I have to leave and I have to make every day count. It's about self-belief and, and it takes courage to do that because sometimes you're walking against the tide, you know, you're going against everybody else, you're going against what people believe, you know, go out there and teach and you say, no, uh, this is what I want to do. But at the end of the day, there's the bigger picture and everything ties in together and I'm glad that I took this decision to do what I'm doing now. That is our biggest, biggest, biggest challenge. We know we have a, a product that will sell, but how do we get this product to the market? And then, of course, the other challenge is just, you know, the kind of, you know, attitude about the ads. And that also affects how much you can sell your product because somebody comes and says to you, okay, this is very nice. The actual price for this product right now in the market is 2,500, right? So somebody will come and tell you, uh, you know, give it, 300 shillings and you ask them well, why would you want to buy it for 300 and tell you know because I can get it at Maasai market so there's that really bad attitude about um, what 
what separates us from the rest is two things. One, the level of detail. If you look at this pottery, for example, if you look at the edges, there's two colors here. There's this uh, creamish color, and then there's the orange. Look at the fine line. You see that fine line? That is what separates us from the rest. And then, of course, the other thing that separates us is the size. A lot of the pots that you see around are very big, but we've kept our size small. This is the magic product right here, the paintbrush, and the paint. This is actually what it looks like when it's coming from the factory. So once this comes to us, we take something we call a sandpaper. Depending on how rough the surface is, you change the number of the sandpaper. So we sandpaper it, make it smooth. This is now something that's already been sandpapered. You can see uh, it's not as rough as it was before. Now what this is actually, this is a wine cooler. So once it's done, it's going to a lodge in the Masai Mara for the client to put wine inside. I'm a big reader and books always open up your mind to all manner of things happening out in the world. I'll tell you also that I have been inspired by uh, clothes. Um, an example, this is actually a candle holder. You see, once you put the candle inside, the, the patterns show. This butterfly, actually this design was, I was inspired by a skirt. A skirt, someone just wearing a skirt passed by and I thought, oh, that would look very lovely uh, on, on, on something that will bring out the light. And the, the reason why we did it in gold was simply because gold reflects light and this, the, the pink base is just a happy color. So we are inspired by everything, uh, everything around us and that is actually uh, the mark of a true artist. Everything inspires you. Even when people look at it and think, oh, this is drab, this is boring, that to me is inspiration right there. My name is Lemmy. I'm an action coach. I've been coaching people and helping them with their businesses for about five years. To be successful in business, you have to be patient. If you're a youth out there, you finished Form 4, you have a small business, or you're struggling in your business, jaribu. Just don't give up. Keep following whatever path that you want to go to. Remember, there are many people in this world who started from a small thing and now they have a big, big, big business. You could be that same person. Jaribu your best, try your best, be the person that you need to be to be successful. This is Lemmy Malloy. I'm an action coach and you're watching Vijana in Action. Product development is very critical to us because you, that is the way you also stay ahead of the market. You keep developing new products. This is actually a lamp base and this is our product right here because when it came from the from the workshop, like I showed you before. It's full of holes and stuff like that. So we've given it a very nice ethnic African touch. And then what we've done with the lampshade, we've also made it um, very African in the texture and in the color as well. And that is a complete product. We have a whole range of products and this is one of the most exciting products that we have. This is actually a corporate hamper. Um, a lot of times corporate companies are very, you know, restricted in the kind of gifts that they give to their, you know, to their customers. If you look inside, we have written the name of somebody. We have actually personalized this uh, ceramic bowl. And the reason why we've personalized is because it's going to somebody very, very specific. And to take it a step further, we've put a bar of chocolate inside. We've put a special cookie. We've put a small bottle of wine, and this is fine wine, by the way. We've put a scarf, because these were also the colors of the person to whom it is going to. 
lovely scarf in there. And then this is the finishing touch. Our other products are planters. We have candle holders. We have pen holders. It sits pretty on your desk. It can be personalized. It can be written uh, your name. It can be written the name of a company. If a company wants to give this out to clients. A lot of our marketing is done online and we are very big on, on Facebook. Our page is Beauty for Ashes Pottery. You have to add pottery at the end. We are also on Twitter. Our Twitter handle is a ceramic artist. You can find us there, find us, find out what our new products are. Um, word of mouth also works for us because as you can tell from our, uh, our, our product, one thing about our product is that we don't compromise on when it comes to color. You know, we are so loud on color that you can't miss us. If, if you were to put even this product on your table, somebody would definitely ask you, where did you get that done? And that in itself markets for us. Pricing is basically determined by how long, how many man hours were spent. So this is our flagship design. It's the most popular and it's probably the most expensive. And by the way, we also repeat this design on canvas. We can do it on canvas, we can do it on cloth, we can do it on whatever medium that you want. my most relevant role models has got to be Wangari Madhai. I just finished reading her book and bowed. Um, I'm also inspired by, by my late mom, who was also a go-getter. She really believed in, in what she was getting herself. You know, what, what she, she took a hold of, she would see it to fruition. And that is really what I'm trying to do here. Against all odds, this company has got to go where I want it to go. My future plans are to expand uh, our operations. I want to get more young people involved because this is something that is self-taught. Nobody taught me how to do this. Another thing that we want to start offering are pottery classes. If you know that you're capable of doing, uh, I don't know, jewelry or pottery or photography or flower arrangement or whatever, just do it. Just get, get on with it. Uh, and, and I can tell you for a fact that there's a market and there are situations where you can create a market for your product. The market doesn't always have to be there waiting for you. Niaze niaze vijana, mina itwa Christine, mkwa kwa studio angu. Hapo hivi tunadu pottery painting. We add color magic to pottery. Una watch vijana in action. Vijana in action. TRBD. Kazi kwa nguvu. TRBD. Hustle every day. Hustle every day, hustle every day